Happy lunch hour, gang. All right, before I get started here, I just kind of want to let everybody know, uh, make sure to pay attention to your subscriptions on YouTube or anywhere, you know, whatever, whoever you follow. Uh, apparently, we have a huge purge going on uh, <laughs> amongst YouTube. Unsubscribing people, I mean, it, it always happens a little bit, but we're getting a lot of it lately. And they are going through content creators' videos and taking them down. Or to give you an idea, all right, uh, I got notification yesterday that YouTube had deleted, uh, found inappropriate or whatever, a video I put up in June of 2021. Okay? So they went back two and a half years and said, oh, we don't like this video. Okay? But just saying. So pay attention to what's going on with who you want to watch, what you want to watch, because they're doing their best to make sure that a lot of us can't get our word out to people. You know, so I mean, whether or not you subscribe, that's up to you. But just as word of, word of a warning, you know, you guys have heard it from other channels that videos are getting taken down. Yeah, yeah but happening here too. So let's get into this. Uh, Y'all know me. I still am a firm believer that the number one way that the world is going to be taken over is not going to be via EMP, via nuclear war, via boots on the ground. It's going to be economically. Right? And countless things over and over and over seem to prove me right. China buying gold, Poland buying gold, the EU trying to get themselves on a gold standard, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The complete destruction of economies, pick something. Okay. So you take a look at what's going on in the United States. And there was an interesting poll put out today from CNN of all places. You know, I mean, Don Lemon, CNN. You know, Anderson Cooper, CNN, you know, that place that's so far left that, you know, they'd wind up being south instead of being west at this point. Uh, you know, full-blown communism. Joe Biden's approval on handling the economy is now at the second lowest point ever in his tenure. He is at 33% approval. I mean, 67%, better than two-thirds of the country, disapprove this administration's handling of the economy. The only time it was worse was in June of 2022, when Biden was at 30%, which is when we were seeing 9% uh, inflation, $5 gas. But yeah, not getting any better. And, you know, like I explained to you on M2 and everything on the mid-morning video, What's going on? Is Joe going to be the candidate next year? No. I really don't see it. I've said many times that, you know, somehow, some way, they will remove him. You know, he is not going to be a, he's not going to be on the ballot. Okay. And if they get as far as the DNC convention, where Joe wins all the primaries, et cetera, et cetera. Joe will stand up in front of everybody and say, guys, I can't do this. I ask all my pledged delegates to vote for, insert name here, Gavin Newsom. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm willing to bet that Gavin Newsom is the, the one on the ballot next November. Okay. There's just too much going on that tells me otherwise. I mean, why would Fox News, you know, Sean Hannity's DeSantis, Gavin Newsom debate happen? Okay. Again, like I said the other day, what do they know that we don't? Why are all these congressmen disappearing? You know, leaving faster than in any time in recent history, announcing that they're not going to run for re-election, retiring, whatever. But that's beside the point. Why else is Joe not going to be run? Oh, anybody catch this? Yeah, 
Uh, good old Hunter got hit with nine indictments, three of which are felonies. Hunter faces a potential 17 years in prison. And before anybody goes, well, they indicted Trump and all, here's a difference. Against Hunter, there's actual evidence. Against Trump, it's all fantasy. You know, I mean, how you, I mean, you know, go to Trump, how you uh, value your property. You know, there were real estate agents coming out this week saying, yeah, we'd value Mar a Lago at $1.2 billion. You know, and again, the Democrats are trying to go off the tax assessors saying, well, you know, it's only worth, uh, you know, 18 million or whatever it is. Go look at, you know, the tax, the tax assessors valuation of your property and tell me if it's what market value is. There's a big difference. Okay. What you're taxable for and what the market does. Okay. So, you know, it's all a, a witch hunt. And the funny part is, Joe's getting dragged into this. Now, I'm going to give you this. Uh, the House of Representatives wants Hunter Biden to come in and do a closed session testimony. Okay? And Hunter's attorneys are trying to fight that. They want him to testify out in front of the people. Right? And it sounds so great for their position. Well, he's going to get up right in front of the people and, and tell them exactly what's going on. Makes sense, right? Good legal strategy. Except if you get out in front of the people, not in a closed door session, what can't you talk about? Classified information. Hmm. Anybody given any thought to that one? Hunter knows a whole lot of classified information because Joe told him. Right? But remember, Joe insists he has nothing to do with Hunter's business dealings except the fact that, oh, I don't know, there's bank records going back years showing that. Okay. What did Hunter know about China. What did Hunter know about Romania? What did Hunter know about Ukraine? You get in a public setting, Hunter can't answer those questions. Sorry, that's classified information. Why do you know classified information? Sorry, that's classified information. I can't tell you. Please tell me what government position, what security clearance Hunter Biden's ever held. And even if he had one while he was in the Navy, gee, they kicked him out. So, yeah, Joe won't be on the ballot next November. There's The Democrats are trying to figure a way to get him out. Is Hunter going to jail? No. Okay. He faces 17 years in prison. Joe will pardon him. I mean, that's inevitable. Okay. Joe may have to pardon himself. This whole impeachment bullshit okay, is a dog and pony show. I mean... Joe's got a little more than a year left in a White House. By the time they get all that through, what are they going to do? Kick him out of the White House in December of 2024? You know, Joe's going to go, cool, I was packing anyway. All right. But economically, this is, this is the thing that we have to look at. Is the American public actually believing all the lies that I mentioned in both videos this morning about Bidenomics. They can spin it all they want, guys. Right? They can say what's good, what's not. But the truth is, and thank God that more and more people, 67%, are seeing that Democrat policies do not work for kitchen table issues. That's just something to hold your hat, you know, pay attention to. Does that mean that Joe's only going to get 33% of the vote? No, because that's what Dominion's for. Can go out.